Hello everyone, Andy Schwab here with your Farm and Ranch News. The National Cattlemen's Beef Association is urging the USDA to reverse their decision to cancel the July cattle inventory report. NCBA Vice President of Government Affairs Ethan Lane said it's disingenuous for the same agency that touts its commitment to transparency in livestock markets to arbitrarily cease the publication of reports which just uh, provide just that. Lane went on to say that while it may be politically expedient to blame the appropriate Operators in Congress for today's decision. Cattle producers know better than to believe the discontinuing a handful of reports will result in a substantive cost savings for the department. Now, USDA's NAS website posted the notice on their website yesterday and said the decision to discontinue these surveys and reports was not made lightly as they will also continue or they'll also cease, that is, the county estimates for crops and livestock beginning with the 2024 production year. And we're just a few weeks away from the Nile Foundation's annual fundraiser, Stetsons and Stilettos. Shelby Shaw, the Livestock Manager and Director of Youth Education, told me the annual scholarship fundraiser helps the students get the monetary support they may need for the secondary education, with the winners being announced earlier this week. Just yesterday, we announced our 14 new scholarship winners in addition to our rolling scholarships that are renewed, and we gave out just over $25,000. The Stetsons and Stilettos Banquet will be held in Billings at the Billings Hotel and Convention Center on Friday, May 3rd, and we'll have a Kentucky Derby theme with a Calcutta of the horses, plus the other auctions and a prize for the best hat. Tickets are $125 or $850 for a table of eight and available by contacting Shelby Shaw at the Nile. We need to take a quick break, but we'll be back in a little bit to look at your ag markets. I represent a lot of what ranchers' wives are, where they marry into the family. Coming into established ranch, the expectations of that is just absolutely overwhelming. You know, there's always stress with all families, but when you're not dealing with the stress outwardly, it will definitely impact everyone inwardly. You may feel alone, but you're not alone. Welcome back friends, your Ag News and your Markets. The University of Wyoming Extension Sheep Task Force will be offering a free webinar Tuesday, April uh, 23rd at 6 p.m. The hour-long event is geared towards Wyoming sheep producers interested in updating their lamb barn facilities and technology as that presentation will feature guest speakers Regan Smith of she uh, Smith Sheep and Stuff in Powell and Corden Kristen Bieber, that is, of Bieber Land and Livestock and the Skull Creek Targies. UW Extension Sheep Specialist Whit Stewart and UW Extension Educator Michaela Getz out of Cody will also help provide the discussion. Now we do have the link available on our website to where you can watch that webinar on the 23rd. And cattle futures were able to gain some ground yesterday after securing $2 gains on the board. Hopefully that will continue today and boost the cash cattle markets that have had a multi-week slump. For Billings Livestock, they hosted their Nile special last week with a big test of feeders and cold cows. Once again, heifers held about a 30 to 40 cent discount to their steer, uh, steer mates. And Sioux Falls is going to be looking for a good test of finished lambs today as they've been able to hold above that $2 per pound mark lately. And Monday's crop progress ratings of the USDA continue to look much better than a year ago. USDA said 56% of the winter wheat crop across the country was rated good to excellent, up 27% from this time a year ago. There's a look at your ag markets and news. I'm Andy Schwab. Have a great rest of your day.